What's up, guys? It's Wax Dad again uh, with another tips, tricks, or uh, secrets here. Um, I'm gonna cover today is uh, DJ Transformer slash Slicer um, hyper editing and stutter uh, effects on the MV. Um, there's several ways to do it. I know there are other ways. Uh, audio phrases are one way. I know there's a uh, way to do it in the in the uh, MFX. There's a way to do some kind of stutter, slicer, transformer type stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you the way I do it. Um, I'll let you hear a few ways first uh, so you can hear what I'm talking about. Um, Here's what I would call a uh, slicer or DJ type of popping the fader uh, effect. Uh, 16th note um, spacing. So you can kind of hear that. I'll give it to you at 8th note now. give it to you at quarter note. Just so you can kind of uh, know what the effect is. Like I said, that's like the slicer, DJ transformer, scratch type of thing going on. Um, I give it to you uh, a better DJ uh, type transformer coming backwards. Another variation of uh, the DJ um, Transformer Slicer effect. <laughs> I'm going to give you some uh, stutter type stuff, um, 64 note resolution. I'll give it to you a 30 second note resolution. type of variation uh, going in between 16, 30 seconds, 64. Um, let me see here. I'll give it to you. I'll give you one that's like a Timberland type of thing going on here. Uh, see how you like this? I kind of dig this. I might make a beat out of this too. I got in here. 
Here's another one. I don't know what this is. That was probably 32nd note or 64th note. Um, here's another one. It might be random. effect is um I think I got some stuff in here where I took uh that effect and basically what I did let me see here Basically what you hear there is one of those patterns, which I like to do for fun, is uh, do those 32nd note patterns, or 64th note, or, or however I laid out in the uh, step record with the, uh, the stutters and whatnot. And I'll stick it in, I'll switch the, the uh, program to like a, uh, a general MIDI program, like a, the 808 drums, whatever's laid out in general MIDI usually. And uh, I'll come up with something that I would not have programmed alone. So I mean you, you can come up with some useful stuff uh, with some percussion and whatnot. Uh, just switching up patterns, just seeing what you come up with that you wouldn't really program yourself. Let's see here's something else. I would not have programmed myself. Like I said, it's good for some backing, uh, some backing uh, percussion stuff. You know, just random stuff um, that you can come up with. Like I said, switching a program from um, from the stuff you do with the stutters. Uh, let me see here. What else? Um. Alright, I think I'm going to get to how I do those stutters. <laughs> 